AJ Styles versus Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon and AJ Styles are going to be fighting in a match at WrestleMania. Seemingly because it once again it feels like management uh, has no idea how to manage their resources or talent and left AJ Styles with nothing to do whatsoever at WrestleMania. And he had to go out and basically brutalize Shane McMahon to the point of career suicide just to get a rise out of management. And certainly did. Daniel Bryan says, oh, I've lost all respect for AJ Styles as a person. And Shane O'Mac is hell-bent on defending what some kind of would-be honor in all of the fact that he has ignored their former champion, the person that carried their brand for almost an entire year. You know, and, and despite AJ Styles not having a fantastic mood, not being a team player, being a show off, being a tacky and uh, gaudy kind of in your face personality, he certainly has done everything by the book. He has showed up. He's put in his hours. He's paid his dues. He continues to go out there and fight and scratch. Why did why did AJ Styles have to go this far just to get on the WrestleMania card? I mean, it seems absurd that we're even talking about AJ Styles not having a match. But here, here we are, and we are, we are going to see Shane McMahon, who is a retired wrestler that decides to you know use his company influence to do whatever he wants, apparently. Is this just Vince McMahon light? Quite a bit. I mean, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This reminds me quite a bit of Vince McMahon and Shawn Michaels from 11 years ago. Again, going back to WrestleMania 22. In a match, I think a lot of people kind of written off. Because Shawn Michaels at that time, a lot like AJ Styles is now, was by far the best wrestler in WWE. But knowing Vince McMahon as he has done many, many years before, he had to put himself center stage at WrestleMania against one of WWE's biggest stars. And I think a lot of people weren't really appreciative of that. Not that they should have been. But I mean, the match turned out to be quite a blast. And I think this match could have a similar outcome and being quite good. I mean, we're talking about the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, a guy that since coming to WWE has had nothing short of a great match with just about everyone he's encountered. I'm sure Shane will be no different. Um, But the fact that AJ did not have a WrestleMania match prior to this past Tuesday is quite ridiculous, I will agree. And Shane McMahon once again putting himself in the limelight a lot like last year in that Survivor Series replacing Baron Corbin in that five-on-five elimination match. Uh, So we'll see where it goes. But I think so far the build to this bout has been exceeding my expectations anyway and we'll see where it goes and hopefully AJ Styles and beating a McMahon at Wrestlemania can earn himself another shot at the WWE Championship down the line absolutely I just I just feel like for AJ Styles you know he's the only reason he put in so much hard work and cared so much about retaining his title was not so he had to defend it at Wrestlemania it was to prove that he deserved to be in the main event at Wrestlemania and he mm-hmm. proved that how many times how many Multiple. times was he supposed to be in that spot and then Randy Orton just out of nowhere decides that uh, he ha- he's not a Wyatt all along and and therefore he he deserves to be back in into the picture <laughs> you know Shane McMahon obviously being the person fighting for AJ Styles to keep his main event spot Um, taken away by Daniel Bryan. Management has no idea what they're doing with AJ Styles. He's ready to go. He's ready to fight, and now he's going to fight against management. We've seen this happen over the years. Stone Cold, CM Punk, whoever it is, eventually they get tired of being tossed around in this vacuum of Shane McMahon basically saying, hey, kids, uh, daddy's going to go and, and play Super Bowl quarterback for a quarter, okay? Check me out. And I'm going to – and I get – look at me. I'm, I'm in the main event spot now. Woo, I'm special. No, Shane, you're just that much more in power than anybody else. And even the people that work their hardest and put their bodies and their minds on the line every single week, you just get to step in and decide when and where you feel like you need to interject yourself. Easiest decision in the world. You get attacked backstage and violently thrown through a car window. Guess what, AJ Styles? Your services are no longer required and we're going to sue you. <laughs> you know, that that seems like, you know, pretty cut and dry, but not for a McMahon, not for a stubborn, you know, p- uh, company shareholder like Shane McMahon is, who's in a position of power to keep his employees completely stifled and down. And now he's out there to teach AJ Styles a lesson by driving an elbow into AJ Styles this past Tuesday. W- all right. So AJ Styles is going to carry Shane McMahon for an entire match, and Shane has some high-flying antics where he's willing to risk himself in front of his entire family to get the job done. 
do you think that we're going to see more death defying kind of risk taking from Shane? And I just honestly believe AJ is too quick to have to deal with that at WrestleMania. He's just going to, Shane's going to make a fool out of himself. Yeah. In my opinion. No, absolutely. I could not agree more. I don't know if you checked it out or not, but I think Corey Graves, I had the exact same thoughts as he did on uh, bring it to the table episode two from last week, which I was did. a lot better than episode one. It went well, huge improvement, but he was like, you know, it, it's a good match, and I, I do see the honor with AJ sharing a ring with a McMahon at WrestleMania. That's huge. He's not facing Bo Dallas here. He's facing Shane McMahon. At the same time, from an in-ring standpoint, he will absolutely have to carry Shane to, um, you know, to a 30-minute, hopefully not, but a 20-minute match, something along those lines. But at the same time, um, with AJ Styles, I mean, Corey Graves made this great point. Can Shane hang with AJ Styles? I don't think he can. JBL was like, oh, who can? Well, there's a lot of people who can hang with AJ Styles. John Cena, Dean Ambrose, everyone pretty much who has faced since coming to WWE. I just don't think Shane can. I mean, we, we saw it Survivor Series. The guy was in the ring for a half an hour, and he was winded 10 minutes in. Well, and he was also facing The Undertaker, who was winded about two minutes in. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it it's going to come down to endurance. It's going to come down to to that kind of quickness and AJ Styles is just too phenomenally fast at everything he does and he's going to be vindictive about it now and he's going to be mean about it now and I, I I honestly think that Shane McMahon is making a huge mistake not letting Daniel Bryan just fire AJ Styles and at least give Stephanie McMahon the opportunity to pick up a number one talent and have that end up on the raw side and rub that in SmackDown's face as just a pure example of their blatant mismanagement at the top levels. 